what does the um, the title tell you, Isaac? Uh, I think that we are talking about those big companies that sell products to to the general population. Okay. So I imagine that they have like um, different um, strategies and they are like opposite, maybe. So maybe we will uh, discover some of them in the during the video. Okay, that they are the opposite. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Well, I think that's the opposite because it says anti-Amazon. Uh -huh, so exactly. So you were like thinking a, about it. Yes. But I'm not sure. <laughs> it's probable. It's probable. And, yes. And I think that there are a lot of difference now because you can go to Costco, uh, to a physical place and, and review the, the items that you want to buy and just go to the cashier, pay, and that's it. And with Amazon, you can search in the website and but you can you can touch the you cannot touch the the product the, the product until you you receive it in at, at home so would you say under that uh, thought that amazon is a competition of costco and vice versa or they are very different markets i think that they uh, Maybe they compete in some fields in some areas, but but there are they are also different. So I can, I think they can like uh, how to say like coexist. Mm -hmm. Yes. So just but yes, I mind that um, they are they are also facing some some strategies uh, at the same time. So so yes, sure. I think that. And yes, they can coexist, but uh, maybe they can like take uh, they could copy some business models from each other. Interesting. That's exactly what we're gonna discover. I guess the video the video talks about uh, not literally being the opposite, but but like in what areas are actually a competition in what areas are not. And there's a lot of information in this particular okay. video. So exactly, take, like not, don't take notes yet, but but uh, try to catch the most that you can. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I always yes. try to do that. <laughs> you always do that, exactly. So yeah. <laughs> let's, let's watch that one. Okay, sure. One, three, action. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. The first 200 to use the link in the description get 20% off the annual subscription. Every October, thousands of dead strip malls, blockbusters, and radio shacks crawl out of their graves and spring to life with orange signs. While Halloween spending has steadily grown in recent years, the number of pop-up stores has absolutely exploded. Companies like Party City and Spirit Halloween have no trouble finding empty 50, 60,000 square foot buildings in the middle of town. For that, they have to thank the so-called retail apocalypse. In the last three years alone, Sears lost 142 of its stores, Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy, JCPenney lost about 200, Payless Shoe Source closed all 2,000, and Radio Shack about 1,000. The obvious question is why? And the obvious answer is Amazon, but not exactly. It's not retail stores that are dying. All these brands have something in common. They suck, usually because they failed to adapt. Sears tried to do everything and ended up doing everything, terribly. JCPenney forgot its customers. And Toys R Us thought the internet was a fad. Millennials didn't kill your business. They stopped putting up with its 18th century practices. Other companies are thriving, like Ross, Lush, Aldi, and Dollar General. One specifically, Costco, succeeds against all odds not by copying Amazon, but doing almost the opposite. While both sell just about everything, from food to tires, vacations, and lawnmowers, Costco's strategy could hardly be more different. And that's exactly why Amazon should be paying attention. Most grocery stores, cheap, premium, big, and small, have the same basic strategy. 
They know everyone buys milk, eggs, bread, and bananas, and almost everyone knows what they cost. So they lure customers in with cheap prices for these staples, even at a loss, and then profit from their large volume repeat business. Costco is no different, with its $5 rotisserie chicken and bargain gas stations, which usually attract long lines. But unlike almost all of its competitors, Costco's deals aren't aimed at the general public. While the average grocery store does anything to get you in the door, Costco charges you. You won't even be allowed inside without a membership, which starts at $60 a year, or $120 for Gold Star Executive. This, like Amazon Prime, triggers a sunk cost fallacy. Once you've already paid the $60 or $120, you feel invested. Why shop around when you already have Prime? By not using it, you think you're just wasting money. Soon, you stop comparing prices and automatically go to Amazon. But what's really genius about Costco's membership is that it's mandatory. Amazon users will self-sort, each individually calculating whether buying Prime will save them enough money to be worth it. This does create loyalty, but doesn't fundamentally change the company's business model. Costco, on the other hand, makes 75% of its money from membership fees. Membership isn't its loyalty program. Membership is its business model. In 2018, Costco had 94 million members, a little less than Prime's 100 million, despite having only 700 stores around the world. That's significantly more than cheaper digital subscriptions like Apple Music's 60 million, or Hulu's 25, and yet 90% renew each year. Why? Because its prices are so ridiculously low. Not because it's a charity or makes money from more expensive items while you're already there, but because its incentives are aligned with yours. Its first priority is getting its customers to renew their membership, which means impressing them time after time with low prices and high quality. Raising prices would only generate a few cents today, and cost the company $60 next year. That's why it has a self-imposed rule. No item can be marked up more than 15%, or 14 for branded items giving it an overall average markup of 11%, far lower than Walmart's 24%, 30 across all supermarkets, or Home Depot's 35. Almost everything about its stores is designed to accomplish this goal. True to its name, Costco stores are, in every sense of the word, warehouses. There is no back room. Instead, forklifts move pallets of products directly onto store shelves. There are no fancy decorations, and aisles feel deliberately crowded. Basically, the opposite of an Apple store. But for as big as its warehouses are, their selection is surprisingly sparse. Your neighborhood supermarket will sell, on average, about 30,000 unique items. A Walmart Supercenter, 140,000. But Costco, only about 4,000. Many of its stores have a gas station, pharmacy, hearing aid center, optometrist, photo processing center, tire garage, liquor store, and food court, but for each kind of item there will usually be only one or two choices. Rather than paralyzing shoppers with an endless row of similar brands, Costco offers large quantities of whatever it considers highest quality. Not only does this make shopping and stocking shelves simpler, but it gives Costco immense buying power, and by extension, immense negotiating leverage with its suppliers. Companies want so badly to be the one or two choices at Costco, they'll lower prices and work to adapt their product to its needs. At one point, for example, Costco re-engineered a container of cashews so it could fit more in the same space, ultimately saving 24,000 pallets a year, money it passed on to the customer. If Costco is unsatisfied with a product, it just creates its own. Its store brand, Kirkland Signature, accounts for about 25% of its annual sales, and has a reputation for being high quality. The other major ingredient to Costco's success is the way it encourages high spending. Because getting around the store is so confusing, you have no choice but to wander through most of the aisles. The large quantities attract business owners, who make up just over one-third of its total members, but account for two-thirds of its sales. The $60 upfront fee, meanwhile, selects for an affluent demographic, with an average household income of nearly $100,000. And that's the genius of Costco. It turns nearly every seeming obstacle into a competitive advantage. Its membership fee should make acquiring new customers fatally difficult. Instead, it creates loyal, deep-pocketed patrons who praise the company for its free samples, generous return policy, and, of course, low prices.
Its cost-saving warehouse layout should confuse and annoy shoppers. Instead, it makes them feel like deal hunters, much in the same way IKEA's do-it-yourself model makes its customers proud of their work. It's a winning formula that's now being exported to 13 countries, including, as of this year, China. Its grand opening in Shanghai was so busy that it had to temporarily close for safety. Ultimately, Costco will never be as big or exciting as Amazon, and that's largely why it's so adored. Shareholders love it as a solid, low-risk, predictable long-term investment, and its customers can feel good about its low prices knowing that they don't come at the expense of workers. While Amazon ruthlessly sacrifices everything for lower prices, Costco sees its employees as a crucial ingredient to its success. The average wage of all 245,000 workers is $21 an hour, double the US retail average. It also gives better health insurance and retirement benefits, which Costco is rewarded for with employees three times more productive. In an era of overvalued startups, reckless desire for growth, and questionable business practices, Costco is something else entirely, refreshingly boring. As companies like Walmart and Costco rush to compete in e-commerce, there's never been a better time, career-wise, to learn programming. Brilliant will take you from the fundamentals all the way through the most And that's a commercial that we are not interested in. Okay. What did you understand, Isaac? Let's begin with you. Uh, it was too much information. It was too much information. Uh, what did you get? Yes, it was interesting because, uh, yes, I, I suppose that Walmart, sorry, Costco and and Amazon are really different because they are not like focusing the same target. Mm -hmm. uh, target. Target. Okay. Target. So, so I think that uh, it's something really interesting to know how uh, this this uh, uh, company uh, handle the, the because uh, I know that you need to to acquire one to to access to the store and. And to buy things, yes. but but they are focused only in in not as many products products as Walmart or other or, or other retails uh, companies retail how, how say retails retail 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 companies retail companies so they offer less product but with a higher quality right uh, which makes uh, uh, customers uh, like develop a, a how say it? loyalty 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 yes loyalty is because you can find a, a better a better price uh, for a best product right for the, for the best products so if you find you it's not something easy to find it and also it, 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 I think that the Costco is doing well with with their with its clients with the customers, but also with the with the vendors because they are like offering also to buy to acquire. Uh, I imagine that a really important amount of, of products, um, and they can offer a better price if they as the the more than they acquire, they can afford like a, a better price. So it helps to, to keep the, the cost lower and then they are earning money from the memberships and also from the products. Precisely, exactly. Yeah. Yes, so it was something really interesting, uh, but I think that it's something really different from Amazon because they they are like, uh, when you acquire the, the, the subscription, you have access to, to the streaming service, music, and and also the, the how to say the, the free shipping. The free, uh -huh, exactly. Free yeah, shipping. but but uh, I think that Amazon is not like selling the products directly. Uh, there are some like other companies selling through Amazon. So so that's not the same business model. But yes, it's it's, it's something interesting how uh, Costco uh, adapt. Uh, all, all the stores to this uh, 
to, to work in this way because uh, the video also mentioned uh, a lot of companies that try to adapt uh, to the internet and all the new mm -hmm. the new how to say it? like technologies and yes technologies uh, so. but they fail no like CRs like I don't to be honest I just remember CRs I don't know the others mm -hmm. I think that they are not like in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, Costco is doing an excellent job because they are continue like something similar to that they have been, they have, no, that Costco is continue doing something similar to the past, but uh, mm -hmm. it's working. Uh, they are maybe using internet for adver advertisement. For, for controlling. Both. Yes, but it's not the, the main, Point of contact with the with the customers. Exactly, it's like crazy, like that they they have all these this infrastructure, but like to be honest, I don't remember a commercial of Costco. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. There's I no mean, wow. is any any other questions? Yes, you you just know that it exists, but I don't know how. <laughs> and everybody talks so good about it. Yes, yes, actually, I, I, I don't really like it. Uh, I, I have my membership, but I, I oh, really? acquired, yes, I acquired a few months ago, but I just went like one, one time, yes. Uh, especially because there are not like many, how say, branches. Uh, branches, are you talking about the, the locations? Cost, cost, yes, cost. branches, you can say branches, or, or you can say, um, no. It's better to say locations because a branch okay. is for a franchise. And okay. this is not a franchise, it's bigger than that. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, so there, we... are, there are many locations. They are, I think that uh, at least here in the city, they are like in the borders. Uh -huh. Yes, I prefer uh, Sam's uh, because there are, uh, well, it is, uh, there is one uh, nearest to my, the, there is one near to my house, so mm -hmm. it take me less time to, to go there. And they also offer like a, a lower price, how do you say? A lower price, what do you mean? Uh, price, prices, lower prices. Lower prices, that's what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they offer also lower prices and I think that it's, it, it, they, well, I, I get used to Sam's, for example, but Costco is uh, a really good uh, store, but I usually don't go. So. Yeah, definitely. It, 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 me too. I think that there's still a lot of people who who really go so often to Costco when they don't have like uh, four or five people in their house. Exactly. No? <laughs> I live alone, so I, <laughs> I, I bought uh, a paper how say like this package of paper uh, toilet uh, paper yes for toilet paper so it lasts it how say it it lasts yes that's for, the word for, for a world for a year yes sometimes i go and buy things for my parents and for me because obviously i cannot like spend all, all these things sure sure definitely it's crazy it's crazy yeah. to, 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 to think this is going to be uh, consumed by only one person. So yes, that if especially you, the food, no? Because especially food, exactly. It's expired faster than other things. So it will be a very bad idea to have a, to have a constant, uh, yes, a constant visit to Costco if you're busy living by your own. No? Yeah. If you see families of four or five people, even only three, I think the deals are pretty good in here, but 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 now for a single man, it's just very very hard. I, but I really enjoy to to the tech part, you know, the to go to. Watch. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and I agree I'm not you. I'm not buying anything. I I like to go to that uh, area. No, in the your cakes, brother. Like. Something, something about Costco is their food. Ah, uh, yes, I, I, I like it. Yes, I like it. But you don't think it's great? Uh, no, not, I don't like it too much. I don't. I like fast food, but not too much, to be honest. 
Well, fast yes, food, uh, but, but not the fast food, not the pizzas. Uh, or which one? Like the pastries they have. Ah, are you, yes. Are you a fan of pastries? Like, you know, donuts and... and not too much, but Silvana is actually, she's already here. <laughs> but, already yeah, we, we have buy some, when well, we have bought some of those uh, items, and yes, I, they are really good. They are. Yeah. Definitely they are. It's crazy, like, the, the this brand they were speaking about, do you remember the name of the the uh, Costco's own brand? Kirkland? Kirkland? I don't remember. Kirkland. Kirkland, that's something like that. Uh, it was Kirkland Signature. Yeah. Kirkland Signature, where is it? It was somewhere around here. <laughs> it's really good quality. Yes, actually, and especially because of the, the cost that uh -huh. it has. It's just, I, I mean, you you have a lot of advantages against the other brands. Totally. Yeah. And, and if you go to Walmart and you see the the uh, Walmart's own brand. Great, great, great value. <laughs> had the great value brand, you are, you directly associated with low quality. <laughs> yes. Which doesn't happen here. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, totally it's crazy. The, the opposite. It's the opposite, no? That, that, that's yeah. something that is a phenomenon that doesn't happen in the rest of the of the businesses of this type. Is the reason why Costco is is always full. It's always what? Full? full? A full. 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 Do you have a Costco membership, Rafa? My father's has. And how often do you go there? Uh, every month. Uh -huh. And it's crowded, right? Yes. No, I, I don't like, I don't like to, but uh, Costco, <laughs> Costco has a great pizza. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Costco's pizza is superior, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Like, like no Benedettis, no Domino's, like Costco's pizza is the one. Yes. <laughs> I agree so much with you. Isaac doesn't like Costco pizza. Oh, come on, man. What are you talking about? Why it's not? Too, it's too much fat. It's too much fat, but but every pizza is too much fat, no? No. Um, Little Caesars. It's the best pizza. Uh, what are you talking about, man? How do you? How well, do you even... so at uh, I don't know if it is correct to say table. No, like no. <laughs> I'm 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 thinking in Spanish. Um, huh. Like a graphic. Ah, oh, that's a chart. Okay, mm -hmm. a chart. <laughs> um, well, I saw a chart where. A nutrologist uh, put uh, many um, brands. Many brands of pizza, and uh, Little Caesars was the second. No, I don't know if it is correct to say second best. No. <laughs> yes, that's, that's the yeah. one. Second best is the second place. Yeah, the mm -hmm. second place in. Uh, Obviously, talking about the uh, yeah, nut about the nutrients. The nutrition value. Yeah. And what well, I, the first one I thought that it was uh, Pizza Hut. Oh. And, but what? The, because of the good quality or because it's so fat? Yeah, because of the fat, the calories that uh, oh. that every pizza has. But but how many different? Much. I don't remember. No, I'm going to I'm oh, going to search for the chart and I'm going to send it to you. But I huh. was just like first <laughs> uh, first phase. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like super surprised <laughs> because I, I never imagine. thought that uh Little Caesars were the second because I I think that it's one of the most um no, you know, cheaper, but um, oh, uh, fattening, 
fattening. Fattening. Yeah. So, okay, wait. You said that Little Caesars was the, the second more fattening. No. No, the second less fattening. The second less fattening. Oh. And the second more? I don't remember. We don't know. Okay. And what was the less fattening pizza? By curiosity. Pizza Hut. It was Pizza Hut and then Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Very interesting. Well, I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> on a nutriologist Instagram. <laughs> Source TikTok. <laughs> well, who knows? I mean, probably they write, no? But but if you have the, the info, share it because I would like to have a you look. It's now I mean now we we need a chart uh, where 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 the difference and price, quality, fat. Um, <laughs> Um, and uh, how, how can I say it? Flavor. flavor, flavor, and flavor exactly because if and, you're... Uh, and we need to evaluate. Uh, yes, Little Caesar is is uh, less fat, less fat, fattening, less fattening, but uh, it's not the best taste. Pizza is delicious, exactly. So, how, how do you want? We need a balance. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are a master. <laughs> you are a master, Rafa. To, to, be, to be honest, guys, like you don't buy pizza because it's nutritional. Do you agree with me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> <laughs> if you want something nutritious, the last thing <laughs> you're going to think about is <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Little pizza is because uh, I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yes yeah, today today not today is not going to be a costco today little scissors you know it will be it will be a complete disaster right but if we think about about the process of making and the i don't know the high quality products that can be a very interesting thing i think i think they have these these restaurants in the in the supermarket for for very i don't know if, if they are high quality products you know what i mean um, in, where? like in the, in the supermarket yeah yeah like the the, the costco for example or, or or even any any supermarket exactly Exactly. Yes, I I remember that when I worked in Santa Fe, I went to Chedrawi to to this place, mm -hmm. and it's not the best, but yes, it's it's good, it's good enough to to eat it. <laughs> because you have salads, because you have meats, because yes. you have different. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have a, like a, a balance between the things that you can choose, and mm -hmm. and if you if you really know how to eat uh, properly, you can. Uh, get a healthy food uh, uh, and also cheap yes definitely and then you can start like it's not fast food but it's very equivalent to a homemade food that you buy at a small local restaurant uh, I think they these kind of places are very nice in the case of you know people who work uh, close to these places no and things like that. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting thing. But you know, uh, the rest of the menu, like Costco, doesn't have this this healthy menu. To be honest, that that will be the the negative part. Chicken bake is healthy. No. <laughs> you have carbs. Sí, <laughs> you and have chicken. Protein. Exactly. Yeah. And then you have. Uh, <laughs> also also a chocolate muffin is very very good solution <laughs> you know you know it has chocolate <laughs> no 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 Silvan the, the menu the menu at Costco sucks in nutrition in nutrition terms because in flavor oof perfect I love Sundays Sundays are great because they are super big <laughs> Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a fat, 
a half of a liter. What? For one ice yeah. cream? Yeah. That's and there are so a lot of crazy. strawberry. I I don't know strawberry. Toss. Toss. What's toss? Toss like um, mermel. No. Mm -hmm. No. There's a word for mermelada. No. Jam. Jam. Uh, well, it has a lot of gems. Of jam, strawberry jam. Jam. Toss. What is toss? Oh, I I said sauce like salsa. Ah, sauce, okay. Or it is not salsa. <laughs> no, yeah, sauce, 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 sauce. But I don't understand the. What has a strawberry? The ice cream, the uh, sundae. Oh. You can put it chocolate or um, strawberry. It's not sauce in this case. Mm -hmm. The word is. Syrup. Uh, syrup. 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 Mm. syrup. Exactly. Strawberry syrup. Mm. Yeah. Just that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that is not marmalade because the syrup is a little bit more liquid and it is not real fruit as I may probably know. I have no idea. But syrup, right? And the other one is jam. So no, I think it's jam, Kirkland jam. Oh really? Because oh. it it um its flavor is the same. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, I gotta I gotta visit. I have never been. Never. The chicken wrap on. I know Sam's Sam's kitchen, but. Oh. No, it's better in Costco. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I will take it as a as a soon soon I'm visiting. Yeah, I really I think that Costco is a good option uh, for fast food because it's cheap and mm -hmm. um, the flavor is good. Obviously, the nutrition is uh, yeah. the worst. But I mean, if you are hungry after you buy some uh, things of the supermarket, you can go there and it's really cheap. I mean, yeah, I think that the pizza is 199. 100, and it's a uh, huge pizza. Pesos, no? <laughs> yeah. I think that's a reward because, for example, Rafa was saying that he doesn't like to go because it's too much people and blah, blah, blah. But it's a, it's a crowded, crowded place. Crowded. Crowded, crowded place. Mm -hmm. It's very, very crowded. I imagine that especially on Sundays. But it's a very, probably a nice reward to get a nice slice of pizza after getting your groceries with your family. And I think, as I imagine, in, I put my my mind in the position of the, the person who pays. That is like perfect. I'm buying a lot of food for the rest of the month, and I can get this slice of pizza for my family in this moment. No, it's like very cheap. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's a nice reward for for everybody, for the family, and for the for the person who doesn't like to go. It's it's an interesting thing. Yes, I I'm. I, I agree with Rafa that is um, there's a lot of people on weekend, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that they have better uh, organization than other supermarkets because you don't spend many uh, many time in the much time much Someone time does. in the in the line yeah in the line that's very interesting because you can pay it with yourself. Well, aha, uh -huh. uh, technology, <laughs> baby. No, can I go? Yeah, what are you I, I, actually? That was from something expressed in the video. There was something about the the logic of the the way people travel around the 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 location and how the workers have a better quality in their attention with the customers because they earn better. Like if you see the salary of a Costco worker, 
is going to be much, much higher than a salary in Sam's Club. Yes, actually, they look uh, well. Uh, Costco employees uh, look better or happier than they look happier, right? Yeah, they are uh -huh. smiling. Exactly. But, uh, also, in Sam's, but for example, if you go to if you go to one part of Bodega Aurora, they will they will never pay attention to you because they are like you just exist in there. I they understand don't that care. they they don't earn like enough money, so so I completely understand the their behavior. Uh -huh. uh, but yes, yeah, you can see the difference. Exactly, and that's another way to to reward the client. They are going to they they're gonna not number one good uh, good mechanics, good uh, way of attention, as Silvana says, plus happy people working, which makes yes. everything easier and ready to to do whatever you like, no? Yeah. That's interesting about, about Costco. I don't know, do you think, um, do you think you're, in the case of Rafa, for example, your father, does your father save money by going to Costco? Well, it, it, Costco is a sales, uh, how how can I say a mayorista say no oh, do you know wholesale exactly it's second name actually yeah second name wholesale it's a, it's a wholesale so uh, many people many people uh, buy a lot of products mm -hmm. and it's like uh um it's cheaper yes so my 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 parents uh do that mm -hmm. yes uh, like with cleaning product products or uh i don't know like uh groceries toilet, too toilet, toilet paper too toilet paper uh, okay yes uh, uh uh things like that stuff mm -hmm. Resources, supplies that you need for your house, mostly. No? Yes, like ba basic products. Uh -huh. uh, and it's cheaper. Uh -huh. And it's cheaper. Buy, buy it in this. Buy, in, buy in Costco. Uh -huh. uh, against uh, other, other sites. And where do they get food? Food mm -hmm. and uh, supermarkets and small Walmart. places. Yeah, Walmart and another. Wow, interesting. Uh, so the yeah, supplies, the like, bigger supplies, like the, like the like the weekly products. Like like how how do you say? How did you say that? You right? Uh, supplies. No supplies. Food. Yes, supplies. Food is mm, weekly. Weekly products in Walmart, uh, Aurora. Okay, in the smaller stores. It, 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 there are, there is a, a, a mini super. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, clo close, close to my house. Mm -hmm uh there's la, la andrea there's everything uh, exactly yeah very, um, yes very interesting uh -huh. just specific products they 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 buy they buy in this place makes sense uh -huh. yes. there it is it, it makes total sense that's what happens with with this thing is very subliminal the way you pay a little bit more when you get your membership. People don't feel the, the price of the membership, which is very interesting. Do you think so? For example, because for example, uh, restaurant owners buy these this, um, products in Costco mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and they 
earn money with the with with they uh, exactly as a supplier mm -hmm. yes in, in these cases i don't think is uh i, I think it's cheaper costco no. as a as a business owner yeah business owner and um, because it's cheaper no i agree i agree totally totally like you will need a supplier to provide the 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 things that you need for your for your restaurant and i totally agree on that in a big family also if you have two three brothers then it's also very very nice to have this so the price of the of the membership per se really doesn't feel doesn't yeah. feel much no it's like okay it's a permit to enter it's like an authorization to get very good deals and at the end if you manage everything well you can save some money so it's a very very interesting package the thing is that costco's costco's model according to the video is a membership that's the biggest portion of money that enters into the costco's wallet which is very interesting products are cheap because the money is in the membership which everybody thinks the opposite everybody thinks that they yeah. earn money because of the products it's and that's a actually way, it's, a way it's, it's a way to see it oh. <laughs> a way no, to yes. see it no, i agree with you yeah i mean uh, if you as you mentioned if you don't pay attention to the price you you don't get that you are paying maybe the same the same price because it already well the, the money that you are saving in the products are, is included in the membership exactly uh-huh it then yeah. probably probably <laughs> so, you're paying the same eh? i mean yes maybe you you need to to make the the calculation no if you are really really saving money or yes. not because uh, you, you are paying for the membership uh, but if you don't buy too much it, it's not something that you are taking advantage uh, of course and probably you're paying more than you you think now that you should yes that's a issue yeah. totally i was i was also studying this mexican store called tres b have you seen those stores do you know them Yes, they are like red, no? With, yes. With white and red. White and red, exactly. Do you, do, do Rafa, do you know these stores? 3B? No, I don't know. I... So there are, there are some neighborhoods in Mexico, in Mexico City. You are not in Mexico City, right, Rafa? Uh, can you repeat the question? Are you in Mexico City? No. No, no, no. Ah, that's why. This is only Mexico City. There yeah. are some some neighborhoods that we whose blue, uh, whose value in the market is lower than the most attractive ones. No. Okay. These specific areas have these stores called tres B. Tres B because if they, in the Spanish uh, saying yeah. there is a saying that says something is good cheap not good good cute and cheap the, which in spanish is bueno bonito and barato right and these stores have very interesting mechanics of like business model because they sell you a very normal product like for example uh, a salvo bottle of of uh, dishwasher right and then an equivalent that is an imitation of the of the brand. So it's very interesting how you can get a bottle of Salvo, very, very cheap bottle of Salvo, and the imitation too in the same store at the same price. And th this store, those stores um, exist yet? They are. I have one in the corner. Ah, I mean, okay. 
and they, it's super for the customer. It's a very oh, nice business. You live in a great place. <laughs> a great place, exactly. But it's so interesting how in for the owner, the owner needs to do a lot of business mathematics so everything matches perfectly. Because imagine you are actually buying very good brands, but selling them very cheap. But you are buying others very good quality brands, not worse, not bad, but you are selling them very expensive. So it's a very interesting medium, you know, average that these stores have. Plus, they only have one or two employees. That's it. You don't have you don't need to pay a lot of people. So it's like so interesting, these stores. You know, do, what do you know about these stores, uh, Isaac and Silvana? Do you do you go frequently to those stores? Uh, to the Tres B? Tres B. Yeah, in Spanish. The name is in Spanish. Tres B. <laughs> No, I, I think that there is not uh, any of those uh, stores near, near to here. Right? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. When, uh, well, uh, there is one near my parents' house, and I went uh, only one day a few months ago. And there are, like, you know, as, as you mentioned, there are cheap, cheap uh, products, but they are not like the best quality. Uh -huh. And I think that the, it just opened a few months ago and it, it was like that competition. So you need to to look for, for the thing that, well, I, I remember that I was looking for some, I, no, I don't remember, but I couldn't find what I was looking for. But yes, I think that it's a really good option. And they are I like in a, in a specific areas that they know that there are people that want to save money. Exactly, and, like the 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 average the average population will yeah. require to pay less yes. for the product. And, and I think that uh, uh, there is another store that is uh, following a similar like business model that is Bodega Herrera, no? Because there are yes. like a lot of, of these stores uh, around the city. Uh, they are like small, and you find the the uh, basic products that you need and they are cheap also exactly the price of them are not not yes. super high yes obviously you will not get the same quality than costco but if you need something you can go until 10 p.m and then you can buy it. precisely i mean it's a different market at the end and the quality will be very very different but the the that's the interesting part of of business models like the business model is goes together with the customer's experience. Like what, yes. what type of customer you have and then adapt all your mechanic for your customer. It's very interesting. I imagine that it, it takes a really long time to, to define all this was business model exactly. for, each, for each store, no? because you need to, to make studies, calculation, to compare like the prices with the vendors <laughs> and all this stuff. So I, it's something really, really big. Massive. Uh, yes. yes, yes, it's massive work. Massive, massive work. It's amazing. <laughs> But yes, that's the thing. That's a part of this type of source. I want you to screenshot the vocabulary and let's give a chance to Jessie because she will pass attendance. Okay, let me make it smaller and Jessie, go. Action girl. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Hi, girl. So, hi, I will say attendance, please. Mike? Absent. All right, Rafael? Hello, Jessie. I'm here. Hi, Rafael. Thank you. Good night. Silvana? I'm here, Jessie. Thank you. Hi, Silvana. Thank you. Good night. Uh, Isaac? No, here. Hi, Isaac. Thank you. Good night. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Thank you. Uh, Alex? Alex, absent. All right. And Jessie? And Jessie, absent. All right. So that's all. Thank you, guys. Good night. Very good, girl. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's Perfect. a classmate 
named Jesse. Yes, there's a new a new girl, a new girl in town. It's okay. Isaac's Isaac's sister. <laughs> it was a surprise. Really? He never he didn't thought he didn't think she was coming and then she appeared. Isaac Isaac family is a key key part of this. <laughs> exactly for some reason you know it's like who who would have thought you know how many discounts we are the uh, we are the, the majority of the group <laughs> yes you know what's going on here so that's that's gonna require a, a family membership or something <laughs> yes or, <laughs> that's a thing i think we deserve a, we deserve a discount <laughs> yes, eh? Yes, to be honest, like it's, it's like it's like a pyramid. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> a pyramid scheme. Is like <laughs> yeah. You start inv inv inviting other two members, and then <laughs> you, you want, can get a discount. <laughs> yeah. You want to be your 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 own boss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I tried to convince uh, two more people, but they don't. They they didn't want. To, but uh, come on, <laughs> it's because they don't have they don't have the mentality, man. They don't want a, a better life, you know. Yeah. It is shark shark mentality. Exactly, you need a special a special mentality for that. <laughs> but well, you at know. least we, we are three. <laughs> in, in okay, but get another two, and you get a discount. Eh? You get get another four, and you get a higher discount, and you can become a diamond member. Uh, but I, I think that actually Silvana started with this. <laughs> uh -huh, Silvana started with the pyramid. Isaac uh, is almost a, a stalker. It's a... a stalker? A, share, a shareholder. A, stalks, a, stalks, a shareholder. Shareholder, yes. yes. Stalker is very different. <laughs> <laughs> shareholder. Yes, a shareholder of uh, not so English. You're going to get one. Yes, you just need 20, 20 levels. Easy. Yeah. But anyway, okay, do you have the screenshot of your vocabulary? Yes. All right. Rafa, Perfect. where do you live? I'm living in Guadalajara now, but maybe I will move to Monterrey. Nice. Okay. Yes. It's because I thought you. Tesla City. Tesla City, yes, man. Yes. It's because I thought you. You live here in Mexico City, but I don't know if in Guadalajara there's also another like supermarket, Kip, H E B. H E B. Ah, with a Oh, in, in Monterrey. It's not in Guadalajara. It's in Monterrey. Mm. Yes. Yeah, it's because I I oh, have God. heard that. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I I have heard that um, there. Mm, uh, it's also like a Costco. It's like a huge store, and it sells a lot of things. Um, yes. Good things. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I I love H E V. Yes. There, there is a. Uh, and weird, but but great uh, promotions mm, offers offers <laughs> yeah offers. For example, if you bought a six pack of beer, <laughs> give uh, pañales. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so, that's so weird. Well, yeah. it actually makes sense, eh? It makes <laughs> sense. Yes. So interesting. But, but there's a, oh, there's a, a lot of offers. Yeah. Um, if you bought a, a wine bottle. Uh, bottle of wine. Bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. Okay. A bottle of wine. Give a and six packs free yes there's a wow. very 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 good uh, offers they are deals these are called deals 
when there is something, some discount okay. or something, these are called DLCs. DLCs. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, Monterrey is amazing. And you can pass, you can pass the border in two hours, do shopping in Texas, and then come back. Ah, oh, that's a dream. Just I hate the weather. The Monterrey. Oh, that's a negative part. Weather. Yeah. Yes. But you have the climate, so the air climate. conditioner. Problem yeah. solved. <laughs> there's the, there is always a solution. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's the thing. Okay, guys. Well, please take your screenshot, right? Louis, let's uh, keep it over here. Tomorrow, I need everybody to come here early because we need to practice those past models. I don't want to pass to the next uh, the next topic if we don't perfect our past models in a conversation. Okay, guys? Yes. So let's keep it over here. Have a very nice day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see yes, you. See you. Thank you. See you. Uh, See you guys. I was very busy this these last days since the last week. And, okay. And today I I connect uh I I couldn't connect on time because I was in a meeting. Oh, okay. And, no problem, no problem. You and, you're you're busy. And just just finished the meeting, I connect to to class but and okay. Oh, and it's like a lot of work and I'm busy with the school because now is uh, uh, exams, exams period. Sure. Uh, two, two weeks, but, but yes, I will attend to tomorrow on time. I, I, I almost sure. Okay, great. Great, great. And if you, you're not, just let me know. So I know when when to start the class, and okay. I can get like the better a better time in the recording, so you can check it out later and etc. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Very good, brother. Have a nice Monday. I'll see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow, bro. Bye. Bye. -bye.